Time now for our weekend wake up brought to you by Wendy's Breakfast. The Nittany Lions will take on the Ohio State Buckeyes on Saturday. Penn State's defense will have the tough task of trying to slow down an Ohio State offense averaging, oh, I don't know, 550 yards per game and nearly 50 points per game, both the most in the FBS. And Eric certainly can't take away from those offensive numbers. They are impressive, but I, I don't think you want to overlook uh, how this Buckeyes defense has evolved either. No, this is really, to me, what turned around the team. Now, the offense, it didn't really ever miss a beat. Uh, but that Oregon game, there were some big-time question marks on the defensive side of the ball. Those guys were giving up so many yards on the ground, especially to that Oregon team. And just after that game, that's when they realized they're for full potential. That's when I think they got a little angry themselves and said, okay, let's revert back to who we are. Let's get back to being this Ohio State defense that – really strikes fear into other people, and that's exactly what they've been doing. And, guys, that has allowed the offense to play so much better these last couple of weeks. Yeah, listen, that's a dangerous tandem. We're going to do a little role reversal. We'll let the defensive guy then give that offense its due. We, we don't want to shirk them either, though, Sam, given those numbers. Yeah, that Ohio State offense, like, I get it. The defense has played great. But that offense, Emac, has been ridiculous. I don't remember the last time C.J. Stroud threw an interception. That's how phenomenal he has been. So you got him – throwing the ball. And then you got guys like Travion Henderson catching the ball out of the backfield and running the ball. Oh, by the way, Garrett Wilson. Oh, by the way, Chris Olave. Oh, by the way, Jackson Smith and Jigba. There are so many guys on this offense that you cannot stop. And that's why you see guys like Jamison Williams transfer to a school like Alabama because he wasn't going to play. He's their number one receiver at Alabama. He wasn't going to play at Ohio State. And so we saw the numbers we're amazed by the numbers. I'm more amazed by how many talented individuals are on this football team. That's a lot of oh, by the ways. That's because there's an embarrassment of riches for that Buckeyes offense. Uh, this is one you don't want to miss. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.